Hi guys, this is Mark Shaws and the Pattern Trader coming to you on a beautiful day in Florida. Uh, this is the last day of the week and it's also the last day of the month. Uh, we've been uh, witnessing some very churning and choppy action uh, in the dollar and uh, in gold. Uh, these instruments do go in sync uh, and for the ta past 10 weeks we've been just churning uh, within a very small range, making life very difficult for us traders. Uh, but I do see a ray of hope uh, in the form of weekly and uh, monthly key reversals. Uh, most notably uh, in the dollar index, I've been very bearish on the dollar index since uh, 2017, but it appears that the dollar index has grabbed a foothold uh, support at current price levels, and I do see a reversal this week where uh, when we started the week it went lower and by the end of the week it looks like we're closing on the high of the week I call this a key reversal uh, most notably when we look at the weekly euro and the weekly British pound uh, we see uh, the opposite obviously um, if the dollar is going up the pound versus the US dollar and the euro versus the US dollar will be going down and again the same thing we see these uh, weekly key reversals in uh, the euro and the British pound where uh, in, at the beginning of the week we started higher and now we're closing at the very low uh, of the weekly bar on a pretty good range. Uh, now I don't look at these uh, reversals indiscriminately. I look at where these reversals occur and with the British pound we have a weekly reversal right at or near an old high so this looks like a double top price pattern. This indicates a reversal in prices whereas British pound has been uh, screaming higher over the last couple of months. It now looks like we've hit uh, some headwinds and uh, look to go the other way. Uh, same thing in gold. Gold's been churning between 1310 on the low side and 1360 on the upside. And uh, this week we had a very nasty key reversal bar uh, where it uh, challenged the 1360 high and is closing around 1325 right on the low of the weekly bar so again uh, it has been uh, very challenging times for us traders it's no fun where the market goes nowhere it just churns back and forth without resolution uh, but like I said I do see uh, some light at the end of the tunnel uh, whereas I'm looking to uh, go short uh, the euro uh, against the US dollar I'm looking to go short the British pound versus the US dollar and I'm looking to short XAU USD, which is gold uh, versus the US dollar. So, of course, I'll keep you posted on all my thoughts and analysis. Uh, I do like to see how the markets close. We're very early in the morning. The markets effectively haven't really um, opened um, in the, the US time. Um, well, I shouldn't say that. It's uh, just very early uh, US time. So we're about eight hours from the close, rather. Uh, so I'll be watching to see how these instruments close relative to their high and low for the week uh, and the month since we are closing a new month. Uh, so uh, I'm going to look at everything over the weekend and I will keep you posted on my thoughts and analysis. Um, but until then, I hope you guys have uh, a great trading day and a healthy weekend and I'll speak to you soon.